My name is Taina Biedeme, and I'm the executive director of the Coalition Against Trafficking in Women. The Coalition is an international nonprofit organization that, by its name, focuses on ending trafficking and the commercial sexual exploitation of women and girls around the world. I have been working on gender based violence and discrimination in all its forms for over 20 years, although uh, as a child, I was always very aware of the disparity. And so when you look at prostitution and when you look at pornography, what we're seeing is a cultural acceptance of that type of commercial sexual exploitation. What we don't think about is who are the actors and what are the elements that are contributing to this multi-billion dollar sex industry. When we look at it, because we're so used to visual um, access, we're so used to seeing movies, that when we see pornography, we assume a number of things. One, that the people in it enjoy it, that if they didn't want to do it, they would not, that they are getting paid very handsomely. Um, what we don't see is that pornography is really prostitution on screen that the traffickers are the same, the pimps are the same, they just have a camera in the room, the women and girls and, and men and boys are the same victims that are being sold in the sex trade and in other avenues and other venues. Pornography now is really a, a public health crisis and a, a crisis of society that we haven't even um, started to determine in a holistic way. Pornography gives the message to girls that, that you have to submit to a very high level of, of violence, you know, a tolerance for violence, a tolerance for dehumanization. And we look at it as sex, um, as opposed to looking at it as, as violence. Uh, and, and we look at it as, as consent, as opposed to looking at it as coercion and um, you know people enticing you to do this under threat or 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 abuse or or worse as long as men can uh, consume pornography as long as they can consume a woman in the sex trade we will not have gender equality. They will not perceive any woman as, as equal to them. They will always be purchasable, always be objectified, always be sexualized to the detriment of our hopefully common quest to reach um, equality between men and women. If you look at porn and you change, like let's say you put a specific group, like let's say it would just be a, a particular ethnic group or a particular racial group and that's what you would promote, there would be outrage. But because it's primarily women, I mean, again, there are, there are men who are in it, because exploitation is exploitation, whether you are female, male, or, or any self-identified gender, but it's always the, the abuse of power and the abuse of vulnerability uh, over someone who has no choice. So it's the absence of choice. And I think once we start having these conversations, people will think about it differently and, and, um, and really put pressure on, on corporations and, and businesses and governments to ensure that we no longer make millions and millions of dollars off of the backs of the most vulnerable people on this planet.